Hello YouTube and welcome to Full Dottle, a channel dedicated to tamping topics such as pipes, tobacco, lore, and more. I am your host, the Bearded Briarman, and without further ado, let's get lit. Welcome back everyone, and on this episode of Full Dottle, we're going to be covering part two of choosing a tobacco. A little housekeeping, I am smoking my Savinelli 673KS Rusticated Tiger, and in it I've got some GL Peace Cumberland. In the first part of this video, we're going to discuss each type of tobacco blend and what goes into them. In the second part of the video, I'm going to take you to TobaccoReviews.com and teach you how to utilize the search function. Now keep in mind, there is no consensus on the definition of tobacco blends. These tobaccos that we discussed today are just a general agreement on what goes into them by pipe smokers. Straight tobacco blends have only one type of tobacco in them. One example would be Samuel Gallet's Full Virginia Flake. This type of tobacco blend has only one type of tobacco, Virginia. There are several different types of Virginia in it, but the takeaway is a straight tobacco blend has only one type of tobacco present. A vapor is a tobacco blend that has a Virginia Perique base. Vapers is a tobacco blend that has a Virginia Burley base. English blends have a Virginia Latakia base and then are balanced by Orientals and Perique. A Scottish blend has a Virginia Black Cavendish base, is balanced with Orientals, and sometimes has light Latakia as a condiment. Balkan blends have an oriental Latakia base and are balanced with Virginias. An oriental blend has a base of orientals balanced with Virginias and sometimes uses a light Latakia or Perique as a condiment. American blends are burly based they are balanced with Virginias and Orientals and sometimes have Perique or Latakia as a condiment. Aromatics are a type of blend that have flavorings added. Anytime you hear of a blend like Cherry Bomb or Vanilla Custard or Blueberry Bon Appetit, that's going to be an aromatic. It's going to have flavorings added that help it to taste like the flavoring they've added. Now that we've discussed the different types of blends, let's head on over and I will take you to TobaccoReviews.com and show you how to utilize the search function to pinpoint the type of tobacco blends or straight tobaccos that you may prefer. All right, everyone, so let's come to our web browser up here in the address bar, put in www.tobaccoreviews.com. It's going to open up their web page. This is an age verification. I am 18, at least. Right up here at the top of the home page, you see search. Click search. Scroll down just a little bit. These are the main search fields here. If you want to do a simple search, say you want a robust English blend, you can just click on English and search. This will bring up all of the different types of English blends they have. 
what they're reviewed at, how many reviews they have. Let's do another one really quick. Let's say you want to try a Vapor. Click on Virginia Perique, search, and then you can scroll through here and look at all the different types of Vapor blends they have. Sometimes what I will do, come through here and start out with some that have a lot of reviews with a decent average rating and begin with those. You can go through here. I'm sure you could find one that has hundreds. There we go. This one has 120 reviews, an average rating of 3.3. Cornell and Deal's Bayou Morning. Bayou Morning Flakes right underneath it. This is my favorite Virginia Perique. 76 reviews, average rating of 3.1. All right, so that's for a simple search on just blend type. Let's say you want to get a little more complex. Let's say you have the flavor profile that you're interested in, but you don't know what type of blend it is. So all you have to do is go to search more, I mean show more search fields, click on it. That's going to open up all sorts of different search fields. Right here, contents. Let's say you want uh, to taste a very sweet grass or hay-like floral type um, tobacco. Well, you would add a Virginia. Let's say you wanted to add a little bit of sweetness. So you want some of that honey brown sugar sweetness with a very thick creamy smoke. Click on Black Cavendish. Go down to search. And that's going to bring up the different types of blends that have Virginia and Black Cavendish. Now, keep in mind, when you click on Virginia, they don't distinguish between the bright Virginias and the dark Virginias. So, you might get a bright or a dark Virginia or both when doing that search. You can go ahead and click on these, and if it has a dark Virginia and you'd rather have a bright Virginia, then simply get out of that and go back to the other ones. What I would do when you're searching in that type of an instance, say you want to look at this one, right click on that link, open link in new tab. That way, let's say you look down here and you say, oh man, it's got Cavendish. And this Cavendish, maybe it's sweetened and you don't want a sweetened, you want the natural Cavendish. And you're like, oh man, I don't really want this. All you have to do is get out of that one and it takes you right back to the search function that you've already completed and then you don't have to redo your search. If you click on it and you don't do that, then you either have to click the back button to take you back to your results page or you'll have to complete an entirely new search. Another example here, let's say you want to choose a certain type of flavor, but this time you're not really interested in plug tobaccos because you're just not as experienced with them yet. You want to stick to a ribbon cut because it's easier. Go to show more search fields, open that up. You want to go to contents, same example, Black Cavendish in Virginia, except this time, under Cut, you go ahead and go down to Ribbon, and then hit Search. And this will bring up all of the different types of blends that have Virginia and Black Cavendish, but are Ribbon Cut. One last example, let's go to Search. Let's say you're shopping for tobaccos on a budget. Go over here to show more search fields, click it, and it brings it down. Right here under packaging, you can choose bulk or pouch. Your bulk blends are going to be high quantity at a reasonable price most of the time. 
Two examples of the bulk blends that I smoke are Haunted Bookshop and Balkan Supreme. You can find them at a very reasonable price here and you can get a decent amount so that you can store it, put it into your rotation. Another option would be pouch. A lot of your pouches are going to be your Codgers blend, kind of like half and half or Sir Walter Riley. Very good budget friendly tobaccos. Last thing that we'll discuss here are flavors. Now when we're discussing flavors here, we're not talking about the flavor of Virginia, we're talking about aromatic blends. Right in here you could go down, say you want a cherry aromatic tobacco. Click on cherry, go down and search. There you go. These are going to be all of your cherry aromatic blends. One other function that I would like to show you, or it's not a function on Tobacco Reviews, but another website. In your address bar, type in www.pipesmagazine.com. Pipesmagazine.com is a forum, a pipe smoking forum. And if you go right up here to the top, click on forums, it's going to bring up a list of different forum topics. Scroll down until you find the one that says Tobacco Cell Swap Search. Click on it. These are going to be your secondary market for tobaccos. A very difficult tobacco blend to find is going to be, for example, Samuel Galwith Full Virginia Flake. If you go to a place like smokingpipes.com, you can click on an email link and they will email you when it comes in stock, but as of right now it is not in stock. Full Virginia Flake is very difficult to acquire from the primary market. From the secondary market, you might be able to find it in here. The secondary market are going to be your private sellers. These people are actually taking the tins out of their home seller and getting rid of it here. Keep in mind, this is a private market. And so, you take your own risks when buying from an individual. These are not businesses. They are not rated by the Better Business Bureau. It is up to you guys on how you deal with each other. Pipesmagazine.com is not responsible for the sale. But I will say that PipesMagazine.com goes through great efforts to make sure that people don't get ripped off on here. All of these individuals that are selling on here are very well known to this forum. And I have bought several different tins on this site. One example would be the Unicorn Blend that I gave away in my 100 to 250 sub giveaway. I use PayPal as a product or service and I pay for the seller fee in order to be protected. If they ever send it to me and it was different from what they had said it was, I'm protected through PayPal. A lot of times on here, people will say that they use only PayPal through friends and family only. I do not use that function. Friends and family means that you're giving them money. There are no protections. And although nobody on here that I know of has ever had any bad dealings, I still don't do that because I'm the type of person I must have protections or else I will not complete a trade. So generally what happens is I contact them when I see one that I like and I tell them I will only go PayPal payments as a product or service but I will pay for all fees. Will you accept that? I've never had one yet tell me that they won't accept it so I'm protected. I've also never had anybody take advantage of me or fraud me in any way. So I, I use this site quite often when I'm looking for blends that I think are hard to find. When I got my Samuel Galwith recently, I also found it through here. These are private sellers, a great resource for the secondary market. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for this episode of Full Dottle. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and show me some love. And until next time we see each other, I bid you farewell and happy piping. Goodbye, everyone. Don't forget to enlist in the Full Dottle Platoon. It's easy. Just click the subscribe button. Also, hit that bell icon to be notified as soon as I upload the next episode.